There's an atmosphere of mourning in Bangui, with feelings of pain resurfacing for many victims. Nadej lives in the capital's Yacinda district. Every year, as this week approaches, she becomes haunted by nightmares. They killed my husband and my two daughters. They took everything we had in the house. I was saved because that night I was visiting my parents. Since then, my life has become dark. Thanks to the word of God, I try to forget this misadventure. Even if nothing is the same, my hope is based on justice. Justice is a word on everyone's lips. Every day, a growing number of victims come here to receive help from the network of Central African psychologists. In our health center, we receive no less than 50 victims a day. For example, we have an exercise called the lifeline, which is an exercise that allows a the therapist to choose the approach he wants to be able to identify the breach in order to propose a healing solution. The Special Criminal Court launched its first trial on October the 31st, 2022, four years after its establishment. It's become a ray of hope for victims. There are 32 people held by the Special Criminal Court. As part of this procedure, there are three people who are already tried in the first instance, that is to say by the judges of the Assise section. And the hearings in this context resume on May 29. The Special Criminal Court will conduct more trials this year. Meanwhile, the Truth, Justice, Reparation and Reconciliation Commission, created in 2020, will continue its work. <laughs>